Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So here I just wanted to show you guys uh, the new Moshino pack, stuff pack. No, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right because I've heard people call it even mosquito, which there's no T's, so I don't know. Anyway, so this is the new stuff pack. Moshino x The Sims. Show your love for fashion by dressing your sim in the latest capsule collection inspired by the dreams or choose not choose clothing styles from iconic Moshina collections. Join a flashy career. As a freelance fashion photographer, your sim will grow their career with fabulous opportunities. Learn how to curate a collection and select the perfect subject to shoot, then find the right poses to accentuate the bond, the bold stylized looks. Have a studio session. Bring your own studio to life where the spotlight is on and so is the pressure. Decorate it with pictures, new furniture and decor, and personalized touches for an inspiring space to photograph your muse. So I know people are like commenting and actually referring this to the My First Pet stuff. But, um, I don't agree with that, just because I do know that this pack is one in its own. It's, you don't have to have parenthood or get to work or anything for it to actually work. You can, it's all used with base game things. And for $10, you can't actually beat it. I mean, from what I've seen, like, the pictures, especially me, because I love to take pictures, and it's hard when you don't have the right kind of things or ability to take pictures of your family, you know? They're all just... <sighs> Sometimes you wonder if you have to download mods to even get it to look right, and even then, if you can get the mod to work, it never turns out the way you want it to. Now I know they just did a big update here a couple of days ago and they made it to where like pictures will sit on tables and things. Um, there's a couple of them that I actually tried to set and it wouldn't work. So I'm not sure about that. But um, I am super excited to use some of the stuff in Create a Sim as well as Build and Buy mode. Um, so let's go ahead and take a quick, quick look. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody has done it already. Oh, don't ask me. Um, I will probably have to turn my other things, like my mods and everything, back on. No, we're not going to do that. Okay. So here we have just a random sim. Let's go ahead and do four packs. We'll do this stuff pack. There it is. Machine now. Okay. So here are the hair. So I'll just take off like all the makeup and things. We'll take off her hair. Okay. So we have this hair, which is the slick black look. I think this looks actually really fresh, especially when a sim gets out of the shower or something to have hair out of the face. To me, that's a really big deal, especially when you're trying to take pictures of other people to not have your hair blowing in the wind or something to actually end up in the shot. So here we have the other one, which is kind of short and basic. It kind of reminds me of what I actually cut my daughter's hair like a few years back, which wasn't bad. I mean, it's okay. Um, we also have this short kind of curly one, and it actually kind of reminds me of my grandma's haircut, except for, you know, she doesn't have that line that they have there. Okay, so I'll just put it back to this one. Ah. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at, we'll do base game, the Moschino. There we go. You know, maybe we'll just do Moschino. Okay, so so far we have this coat with many colors, the shirt that is just like the hoodie. Now, I would absolutely love this t-shirt. I would probably wear it everywhere. 
Then you've got just this coat, which I wonder if it actually works with like winter. Nope. Darn diggity darn darn. Okay. And then of course this fake little suit, which I actually think is kind of cute. Okay. So here's the full body. Let's go ahead and also do Shino as well. Okay, so I have seen this dress several times, especially in the trailer and everything. I don't mind it. I mean, it doesn't work for like small. There we go. That's a little better. Um, I do like the black and pink. It obviously, ooh, that's pretty changing of the colors i mean this would i think this would be perfect for like i used to have dance costumes that actually was kind of like that but um shorts on one side and pants on the other um anyway of course there is the plumb up swimsuit which honestly i even think it's different up here yeah it is it's different up there it also has different colors, but it looks like the plum bop. Oh, there's red plum bop and blue. So pretty much they stay the same. I don't mind it. I c it makes me want to look up and see what... The red ones are probably angry, I guess. And blue is... I don't know. I'll have to look up and remember. I don't remember what the colors signify. Okay. And here is obviously a dress. That obviously has those. I wish we could have seen it to where it was like pink on the outside and like the inside have different colors. And teddy bears, which I guess it's a big thing. Don't know. So let's go ahead. As you can see, you can probably see which one is which. Okay, Machina. There we go. Okay, so here we go for the pants so here we have a skirt which I'm guessing goes perfectly with that we'll put this on and I'm guessing this kind of goes with the coat and then we have this which I'm not sure what top that goes with unless it is going with this or this I don't know let's kind of see what the color oh they don't have any colors for that I mean that one has that the skirt has gold, blue, black, pink, and purple, so we have that. Okay, now let's see. It looks like there's only one shoe. Okay, Machina. Okay, so it looks like we have like a little pump type shoe sandal. I mean, I guess they're not too bad, but I don't know. I just, I don't see any... I don't know if I would actually put that with any thing. Um, I want to see if there's any accessories or anything. I'm not sure if there actually is or not. So it doesn't look like it. Let's see if they have hats that are new. I thought they had new hats. Let's see. Nope. Accessories. So it does look like there's a plum bob earring, which I I would so buy that for myself. I'm not even going to lie. I would, so that's all there is. That is definitely one I would do for myself. That is so awesome. Okay, I don't think there's anything for the Shino pack. Okay, so let's also add in masculine as well, so that we can kind of see the hair let's see let's go into masculine okay so it does look like there is one type there is there any hats masculine nope i don't think there's like any makeup or anything like that for masculine but i'll take a look nope okay so let's go into the shirts again. Let's do masculine. Okay, so it does look like they have like this coat, which I actually truly love. I hope that, yes. See, that would actually be one I would see dressing my girl Simon. Oh, look, there's the bottom part of that 
coat. I wonder why it wasn't like there before. And look, there's a sweater. Okay, so let's go in here and let's kind of check out the masculine really quick. Okay, so it's just this. Wow. Well, okay, I can't see anything, I guess. It's just a little odd. Okay, so there's the pants, obviously. Let's just add a quick t shirt. Okay, and then obviously that to match. I do not think maybe there is some. Yep, they have masculine boots. I'm guessing that kind of goes along with the fact that there's other things. Okay, this is um, one of the things. This is um, custom content, eco friendly. It's for a farm that I'm going to be doing. I don't think that they had anything new here that I'm aware of. No. Okay. Let's go to main menu. And we'll just kind of jump into a household and or maybe we can just load up a game really quick as you can see that's the cowboy I created so let's see what we got okay so as you can see there's nobody on the slot you know the grid drives me absolutely bonkers so let's just build a quick couple walls here so that we can kind of see what we're dealing with. So let's go back in here. And what we'll do is go into pack and just click Machino. Which, it it's kind of all there already, but that's okay. So it looks like we have like the one arm chair. We've got the couch. We've got, I'm guessing, a little end table, a coffee table trunk no clutter accessory organizer I'm guessing that's for like the camera I'm not sure what that is I wonder if that's a light there's the tripod and the camera which I assume sits up there yeah okay this is a fashion mark that goes on the ground okie dokie all right so here's some framed art sorry my kitty fell off and I didn't want her to get hurt okay and then of course we have a mirror we have like a little bookend here like that looks like a bear is there anything else besides a bear no I guess not okay so there's like a magazine stack which I know people will love so there's like that an amp stack huh Okay, this is a rug, which of course all of these have different swatches as well. So this goes on the wall. That's actually really pretty. Okay, that's a digital frame, which that is actually really cool. Okay, this is the other thing I'm super, super excited about, and that's the bookcase. I know lots of people are excited. So there's a neon light there. There's, of course, it's not BB move objects. There we go. Now maybe the light will hang. Yeah. Okay. So there's the light, which I think is really cool. Actually, it looks like industrial type. Um, these are for like the fashion studio, like trying to make sure that you can take great pictures. There's like the backdrop, which I'm assuming you can, oh no, you can't change colors. And there's the backdrop straight, which I'm actually, I wonder if they can, yeah, they can go together. That's really super cool. Okay. This is the room divider. There's quite a few things there. Here is the drape, which I'm assuming comes, yeah, it comes in a bunch of different colors. So maybe we'll do that one because I like that one better. Okay, so this is a landscape digital frame compared to that one that is portrait. So portrait landscape. And then we've also got these designer type racks which works okay exit let's go into 
Okay, so it looks like this is one of the paints. Okay, this is another paint. So the, there's only a two. There's this one and this one. And of course, they have all kinds of different colors, whatever you desire, you know. Alright, let's check out the door. So it does look like there is one sliding door, which honestly, I think this works perfect if you're going to be doing a industrial build, which I want to do. I'm not even going to lie. This is the other thing I am super excited about, are the windows. So we have this one that's open, which I think is super cool because that's actually how we're... Ha Blah, 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 blah. That's how warehouses actually hang them up. And of course, that's how they are. They also have it closed. Okay, these other windows, you guys, are the ones that I am so excited about. And I plan on using them probably quite a bit. And that's these ones. These arched windows. And seriously, I think that's amazing. And that would be something that... I would seriously love and adore. So as you can see, this is just what is part of the new pack. So I'm excited. I do think it is worth it. It's only, like I said, it's only running at $10.79 here in the U.S. I think they range from like 10 to 12 if I remember correctly. I did not get mine from a Game Changers or donated to me or anything. I actually did purchase it. I'm hoping that pretty soon I should be able to have EA Game Changers um, maybe uh, contact me and maybe become a sponsor of some sort. Maybe even like computer things or something. That would actually be really super cool. Um, I'd be excited for that and actually what I would do is pass the savings on to you guys because you guys are the ones that made it possible. So that is just a side note there. I'm not sure what this actually is. Oh, okay. So this is like the mark that would go on the thing right there and then you've got this. It would be like this so that the person can stand there and then you've got like I would have the lights probably at a diagonal like this for a photographer which for me is actually a really big deal because seriously I love photography oh see I was hoping that this was a light huh maybe it's like a decor piece or something can you put like this stuff on top of it yeah okay so it was just like a little case type thing and then see we have the coffee table this trunk I think is really cool I would actually probably put it at like the end of beds or something just because or like even to hold the TV perhaps or maybe have this hold the TV and this would be the coffee table just because I'm that type of person that I love it to be like that so, see we have a couple, so that's like for the camera, so I put that up there. And, so as you guys can see, I'm just kind of messing around a little bit and putting the bookcase, which, oh, my kitties are fighting over there. Something like that. I wonder if the, sorry guys, I'm just kind of messing around for a minute to see what I can find. Let's do the electronics. So this TV, would it sit? Yes, it does. It sits perfectly up there. I wonder if it would sit on this. Does it sit? Let's see. No. It looks like it almost might, but it doesn't. So obviously this is the bookcase, which I know tons of people are excited about. Me, I'm more excited about the windows and like the couches, especially how they have a couch and a chair that matches. And I know that there's a couple of things that will actually match. Like I almost bet that I could make a copy of this and kind of make it into 
an L-shaped type couch thing. And like maybe put the chair like over here like that. I'm just kind of experimenting and kind of messing around a little bit. That's all I'm doing. Trying to see what is actually possible and what isn't. Um, but see, that would be something that I actually see a lot of people doing. And even like, oh, oops, went too far. Like adding this on the side like that to make it to where at least one side has an arm. So anyway, that's the, the Moshino pack. So I just, I, I did want to show you guys that so you guys had kind of an idea. Um, anyway, a pack that I recommend that you get. So what I'm going to actually be doing today is, let's go to manage worlds. We don't need to see anything. It was just kind of me messing around. Um, so for today, I was trying to see, I had everything written down. Okay, so today is actually my single dad LP, so that's one thing. Um, the other thing is, you guys, I really need a couple of people to be created for um, my Black Widow challenge, especially, because that's what this game is, is my Black Widow. Um, I definitely need somebody to create a couple of dads for me because I did complete the um, dinner party. It took me twice, but I did it. Um, and obviously, all as you can see, all of the girls are aged up, so you can see that. Now these two, Avery and Abigail, are actually Nailies compared to Naomi, which is actually Joaquin's. So, um, I did want to do a different color of hair for her, which I'm not going to do, but I'll do it off screen. So anyway, that's just a little info video. I did, I wanted to run some ideas past you guys to see if there was something that you might be interested in. And one of them would be to, um, on Sundays, I kind of left Sunday as being open. I'm not going to, um, I'm not sure what I would do, whether I kind of want to do a speed build every day or every other day or so, um, just to get better at it. Um, cause that's the only way that you can get better at anything is if you just keep doing it over and over and over. Um, but I was thinking about creating an LP starting with the first pack that ever came out and then work my way around. Now, the only thing that I wouldn't do is like stuff packs, but I would do like expansion packs and things like that. And even like I want to utilize and get some restaurants in there. I kind of want to own a break bakery and a restaurant and a bowling alley. You know, I mean, why not own a bowling alley? Nobody has done that, I don't think. So, um, let me know which you guys would like to see first um, for an LP that I can do on Sundays. Um, so anyway, I am going to leave this here. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. I bid you guys farewell with prosperity, love, and um, happiness and joy. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Namaste. Bye, guys.